You're watching day three of the Reese's Senior Bowl. Our coverage here in Mobile, Alabama, moving inside with a tornado watch in Mobile. This is still in South Alabama, but across the street from Hancock Whitney Stadium, Daniel Jeremiah, Charles Davis, Andrew Siciliano. We are looking at some one-on-one -on -one drills here, the O-line, the D-line, and an early look here at Travis Jones against Cole Strange. Big week for Travis Jones. We've seen a bunch of him uh, over these last two days. Here we go into day three, and Logan Hall showing some quickness yesterday, comes back with a little power today from Houston. Yeah, and, and he went against a young man from Southern. I think I've been calling him Jatire Carter, and I've been getting that incorrect. I understand it's Jatire. Is that correct, Andrew? It is Jatire. Jatire Charles, Carter yes, from Southern. Southern. And I just want to make sure I get that correct for that young man. He almost derobed Logan Hall on that one. <laughs> Close stay on today, day three. Here's Trevor Penning from Northern Iowa, left tackle. Tyreek Smith coming off the edge. These guys have been battling oh, all God. week. And Smith got him with speed on that one. And Pennings had a couple issues with dropping his weight and dealing with the bull rush. I think he was braced for it on that one, and Tyreek Smith hit him with the speed. Now and there comes, comes the bull, and Penning was ready for it, oh. and then finishes. A little extra. Yep, here we go. They've been going all week, and that's just been waiting to bubble over. There's always a little something extra with Penning. No yeah. matter what, there's always a little extra in there. And eventually, someone's going to take offense to it. Yesterday was the first time, Andrew, I saw somebody block another human being into the goalpost, which is what <laughs> Penning did in the one-on-one. -on -one. Now, here's my question. You like to see a little nasty in your O-lineman. Do you want to see it in this setting? You will not find an offensive line coach who will ever be disappointed <laughs> turn and nasty down. in any setting, be it uh, a Christmas Eve party, a one-on-ones, a game setting, that they're never going to be upset with a little nasty demeanor. Hey, you, know, you know what that's there. like, Andrew? Yeah. You know what that's like? It's like when teams talk about someone running up the score, you know, scoring the late touchdown. Go ahead, stop The us. head coach says, you know something? It's up to us to stop them. Mm -hmm. There's a winner from the week right there in, in Winfrey from Oklahoma. He has had a great week. And he just called the guy to come back and get said, some more. come get some more. Let's do it. Look at that power. And, whoa, he could have dumped him. And it's Zakel from Ford of the O-lineman that could have been dumped. Good week for he's had Winfrey. he's helped himself. I think he's he's been much better here than what you see on the tape. So that's that's going to help his cause. All right, Zion Johnson staying square. It's been a good week for Zion Johnson in one regard. I think Daniel his ability to move inside and willingness to move inside and play center not and many, to try and take that on. And not many people have been able to take on the power from Travis Jones and he just did it on that one. We'll see the second rep if he can do it again. Oh, look at that. Yeah, he got over his skis a little bit. Travis Jones was the guy that you singled out, DJ, yesterday after day two here in the rain for uh, your practice player of the day. 326 pounds and just pure power. That's the other Oklahoma rusher, that's Isaiah Thomas. Going against Marquis uh, Hayes. Marquis from Hayes, Marquis from Hayes from Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Three-year starter and left guard. Stoned him. Got to give the offensive linemen a lot of credit. They're jumping snap really well <laughs> and getting into these defensive and linemen. And they've struggled, quickly. I think, during the week. I would give the edge yep. to the defensive line through the one-on-ones. And the offensive line's been better in a team setting, a little more friendly there. But that's the reason for the jumping, you know? Let's They've see. been getting beat, so they jump in on that second and try and get a little quicker. Ryman Lucetta here from Penn State. Sorry, DJ. And working against Bernard Ryman, who's been better in team settings than he has here in the one-on-ones. This time he's a little early. Um, He's had a little adjustment period in every practice where he struggles early and gets a little bit better as he goes along, go. and that's a better rep. He's still catching. You see how wide his hands are? He's just kind of catching and absorbing instead of getting those hands in tight. I.J. Sanders coming off the edge here from Cincinnati. It's Daniel Fa'alele. So on this one, Charles, he comes off the ball and just stands straight up. And you expose your chest against a big man like and one of the biggest men you'll ever see in file lately. It's over. It's done. You can't just pop straight up. Did it again there. I know we talked yesterday, DJ, about whether or not you saw Falele as a tackle or a guard, and you said definitely Tackle he's got to play outside. He has been asked, though, media day and other times with reporters, would he move inside? He said, I'm willing to do whatever. Remember Aaron Gibson years ago coming out of there? Aaron was a lot. Yeah, but he lot. was like 6'6", six, six, right? even. This kid's a 6'8". I mean, that's a lot to ask to go inside. 
that type of I, and Jonathan Ogden played his rookie year at guard. Yeah, but Jonathan yeah, but Ogden is a Jonathan Hall of Ogden. Famer. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about a little bit different level there right uh, now. Just for one year. So it's interesting here with Logan Hall. We saw him show some power earlier, and now he's trying to use that quickness again. Got a little bit high. That's Jason Hines, who just got here last night from LSU, our second interior LSU offensive lineman was at the NFLPA game last week. Ah, he snatched him. Stuber, who's who's been put on roller skates this week a couple times by Jones. This time he gave a little ground and just snatched him, pulled him to the ground. A savvy vet move right there, CD. Well, no, there's no doubt about it. That's called adjusting, adapting during the week, and now let's see if they play him straight up. Yeah. Caught Travis him on a Jones. lunge. A little bit of a lunge there from, from Stuber. And Travis Jones used it to his advantage, pulled him off balance, and was Ducked gone. his head, and that's what he's yep. showing him right there. You it's dropped gone. and ducked your head. Travis Jones has made some money this week, I think. That's Here's a tougher 11, Dominique Robinson. Yeah, Dominique Robinson is 254 pounds. He's going to be playing on the edge. They're giving him some work here inside, but that's a tough one for Carter to deal with somebody that athletic inside when you don't really have any neighbors helping you out. Robinson's a former wide receiver. By that time, he caught him and stoned him. Looking at the national side, day three, moving inside today with some inclement weather outdoors. And there's Boye Maffe from Minnesota getting the last rush. You saw Trevor Penning earlier say he's got a little nasty in him. The left tackle from Northern Iowa, number rated offensive tackle for PFF in all of college football last year. Here he is. Good night. Uh, with the throwdown. A little push in and shove it. Here he is as well. This is 625, guys. We counted the plates. Your thoughts? I'm going to need a lot more than those little skinny wraps around my hands. <laughs> <laughs> 625. He also has some some hops. Bam. Ooh. Yeah, he didn't just go up and throw. Look no. at him. Look at the little windmill. Look at the little, oh. That's 330 pounds, by the way. You know what they say about that? That's like something out of NASA. Hard to believe something that big can get up in the air <laughs> like that, but it does. Lift off. We're coming back tonight for full recap, 11 p.m. Eastern time, new time after the East West Shrine game, and then we got a game on Saturday, 2.30 Eastern time, the 73rd edition of the Reese's Senior Bowl. Omar, see you then. Awesome stuff, Andrew. Thank you very much.